In this tutorial, we'll look at the Ostinatum engine, which is available in many of our contact libraries. In this instance, I'm going to be using the Albion 1 strings patch, and it's worth noting that the Ostinatum engine can only be used with short articulations or techniques. For strings, those are spiccato, staccato, and pizzicato. To access the Ostinatum engine, you need to click on the musical icon here. You'll see on the left side we have our settings and on the right side we have our sequencer. To enable Ostinatum we first need to select a mode. Order press means that the notes will play in the order that you've pressed them. Ascending will mean that the notes will play in an ascending pattern and vice versa for descending. I'm going to select order pressed. Now I'm going to move over to the Ostinatum engine where you'll see we have different note lengths and values. To input a note, simply click on the note and it will now input into the score. When I hold a note down on the keyboard, you'll hear how the Ostinatum engine works. Because I've selected order pressed, we can vary which note is used by varying the key here if we change the numbers, it will change depending on what note we've selected with our hand. Now when I play four notes, it will play the first note I've played first, the second note second, the third note third and the fourth note fourth. We can also use chord mode to play these notes in a chordal pattern. If we're not happy with the pattern, we can then remove it using the bin icon here and input more notes using the note input device. You'll hear that after a while we start to get what's called the machine gun effect when we've got repeating samples happening on a regular basis. We can vary this by varying the velocity which can be selected at the bottom of the interface here. Once we're happy with the ostinatum pattern we've made, we can actually save this to recall it on any patch within the library. Select save and name the patch anything you like. Select save and the patch will now be saved in your data within the library folder. If we were to reload the library now, you'll see that we can go back you'll see we have an empty patch and then we can select load and then load from our menu here and we've got the ostinatum pattern back and that's the basics of the ostinatum engine thanks for watching spitfire clips let us know if it was too long too short too fast or too slow in the comments down below hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.